Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about fatigue and various forms that it can take. Also, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how it ties in with your thyroid. So let's just dive right in. To get started, I want to let you know that almost everyone who has been awakened, you're going to go through several series of cycles of needing to address um, your body sy systems, okay? Now, this is kind of an odd thing because when we think of dis-ease or illness, sometimes we just think about the sick part. We don't think about being preventative. That is a fairly new concept, although it's been around for a few years, you know, preventative med medicine. I want to talk to you about regenerative, regenerative. The only way that you ever regenerate something, regenerate your cells, regenerate your energy, regenerate it is through the energy of your body. That is the thing that supports you from birth to, you know, death all the time. People who have diminished energy usually will have diminished function of one or more organs and parts of their body's systems. Now, when we get into specific organs, okay, some of the organs are a master anchor spot for the alchemy that needs to happen. Why? Because you're really not a solo person anymore. Much of your existence uh, throughout, you know, now and your past lives and your recent past have been with you as an individual. There is someone you're connected to. And I see a lot of people out there who've become bitter and disgruntled and discouraged about why is this taking so long? Why isn't it happening? It is because you have to do this and start getting it from the inside out, from the above you to the down here and also across the miles. It is very, very rare. And I'm going to go out on a limb by saying that not a lot of the people that you see that are, quote, together are actually able to merge their parts together. And you will see some of them get sick. Not that I wish that upon someone. It's just that they're not sustaining or integrating the connections that they really need, which are from above. Now, for those of you, if you feel that somehow you've been missing something on this journey, a lot of this part that we're in this year is about the integration of your light body. It is not just integration, it is upgrading, it is up-leveling and using all of those downloads that you may have felt over the past few years. They're only as good as when you're using them. So let's talk a little bit about thyroid. What is the thyroid? Well, it's an organ under your trachea, kind of butterflies under there on both sides of that area. And it is a master gland. It helps with your reproduction, it helps with metabolism, it helps with sleep, it does a lot of things. This is also one of the anchors of your high heart. So if you think of your heart as just being here or your heart chakra is here, it's a lot more than that. And the things that people can experience are things like low thyroid, that means the hormones are off, the uh, your numbers are off. Also issues okay thyroid issues such as weight gain weight loss bulging eyes eye issues there's a big tie-in with your eyes that have a lot to do with your thyroid now your brand new body your light body is intended to help you balance all of this in other words take this extreme bring it to the middle take this extreme bring it to the middle or take you know wherever you're lopsided and help you to start balancing it it is to help you be temperate. It's to help you be tolerating things, tolerating people, tolerating their emotions, their moods, whether they're being bratty or not. Um, it's to help you tolerate certain foods, to help you metabolize, regulate your electrolytes. There's a lot. There's a lot there. What happens when people have a thyroid issue on their journey? 
Well, one of the things is, believe it or not, sexual exhaustion. Yes, you heard me. Sexual exhaustion. And you might say, what is that? Is that like when you've like had, you know, really good run in bed and, you know, you're just flat out? No, because with the right person, that would actually get you energized. People are trying and they are squandering their energies on the wrong people in the wrong places, in the wrong venues, on the wrong apps, you know, and it's exhausting them. They're like running around like, you know, chickens with their head cut off, trying to get that main attraction. Not healthy, not healthy. And so your body parts can go into a bit of fatigue as a result of this, or a lot of fatigue, because that accounts for a lot of the things that are recognized as a syndrome, such as Sjogren's syndrome or Hashimoto's disease, okay? This affects women quite a bit because we need to get back to being properly regulated so that we're not flat out of energy, so that we don't feel like everything in our life is sucking the living life out of us. The children, the pregnancies, the um, bad pregnancies, the depression, the monthly cycles that seem to have no end. Do you see what I'm saying? You have the wherewithal through your brand new light body and the brand new connections to connect yourself and get reconnected to a much higher part of yourself that infuses you with energy, that gives you that energy on a daily basis and gets you out of the fatigue. As the fatigue lifts, it feels like a fog is lifting. So you could feel like you are dragging your butt every single day and wondering what you can do about it. And I'm going to say something. Some of the things that you think may give you energy, like smoking a cigarette or having an energy bar or caffeine, you will get the reversal effect where it does not energize you and it starts feeling like even that is depleting you. I know this because I've gone through it. I kind of called it coffee fatigue. A lot of you know what I'm talking about. Coffee fatigue. Hey, you have endless cups of coffee and instead of perking up, you feel like wah, wah. Yeah, nobody likes that. Nobody likes that wah, wah feeling because they're trying to recapture that like, you know, woohoo, you know, my, like my adrenaline's going, you know, I've I've got endorphins in my body going, woohoo, feeling the joy, right? So I'm not talking to some people that, you know, they're like, yeah, 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 I know this. I go and get my exercise. Trust me, you will hit the wall with something in your body systems. And I do not wish people to be, feel befuddled by this, to feel so confused, because I look on the National Institute of Health's website. I look on the CDC and I do see that there is a very, very strong concern for all of the things that are affecting people. And I'm going to say something here. Once I really saw a list of the things and I saw the things that are concerning people, not just in my country, in the UK, in other countries, guess what? I'd already been addressing it for about five years before these things became a major concern. Why? And what is this telling me? This is telling me that worldwide people are going through quite a lot of ascension symptoms and they're they're running frantic. They're worried. They are upset. They are wondering what's going to happen to them. Those are the people that I want to reach. The ones that are saying, what's going to happen to me? Why do I have this sense of fatigue? Or I'm too young to be suffering from this, but I, I just can't. And, you know, not to mention the lost opportunities, the, you know, diminished function that you have, the work, or even other things that you may worry about, like, can I get pregnant? Am I ovulating properly? Am I producing enough of, you know, the hormones I need to be producing? And, you know, regulating the things that I'm producing too much of. So there is um, sexual exhaustion. There is your reproduction and how you've been tied to the same old tribe 
again and again and again and again and again. So a lot of people really love to meet soul family, except when those people are a hindering burden to you. And it just feels like it's repeating something that your soul just really doesn't want to. And your soul is sitting there like this, like, I'm so bored with this person. Like, this is tedious. Can we please get on with it? Yes. Can you please get on with what? What? <laughs> and that's what you're saying. You're saying, you know, can I get on with it? Well, how would you define it? It is your life, your energy for your life, your love, the love of your life, the love that you deserve in your life. And this goes way beyond self-love and self-care that we think of it. This is loving yourself back to a level that actually is a very up-leveled level, like where you feel 10 years younger than your actual age, where you go to the doctor for your baseline exams and they check you and they're like, wow, you're doing really good. You're, you know, things aren't where you are not on medications or continuing to add medications. I recently helped a friend of mine who had a cousin and the cousin was um, pretty sick. Now, if you looked at her, you really couldn't tell, but a lot of that was on the inside. She had macular degeneration. She had diabetes. She had kidney failure. So she was getting dialysis. COPD, congestive heart failure, high blood pressure, okay? Um, she did not have certain digestive issues, but then it all became this cascading event for her. And I'm not criticizing her because when you look into her past, there were things about her life that were pretty not nice to her. She was uh, somewhat of an unwanted child. She was uh, shamed by her family. And then the person she was with, he had dropped dead. She he had a child. That person didn't stay with her. That person went on to jail uh, because of the kind of person she was. She had someone who had attempted to murder her with a wire around her throat. That person went to jail. That's the subsequent guy she was with. She had um, lost him because he had a massive heart attack and just keeled right in the house. Then the landlord gives her two months to find a place and she couldn't. Okay. And she's sick. So she's taking 20 medication. Do you think anyone has addressed these deep psyche issues of her? No. Is she fatigued? Yeah. She could not barely walk from this chair to the sliding door to let her dog out without getting winded. Now, this is what life does. Sometimes it knocks you down and it knocks you down and it knocks you down until, you know, from a soul level, you're kind of soul tired. You're world weary. But your body parts are the ones that are feeling the effect and they are screaming for help. So if we talk about thyroid, Reproduction, sexual health, sexual um, healing. You know, you cannot get it in the same old ways anymore. And I don't just mean sexual. I mean love. I mean like where there's a fresh infusion of love. And I know that, you know, this is not what we want to believe, that you're going to be able to do some of this as an individual who is an alchemized, ascended person. But you can. That is my specialty. So how do you retract and retrieve your essence from all these things? What does she do? Honestly, she wanted to keep adding medications to the extent that my friend thought maybe her cousin is addicted to medication or addicted to attention. It's not that people do not know that there is recourse, that there's something else to do. Hi, choose me because I am the something else to do to help you Go through these things, get rid of these things, start taking them little by little. And, you know, I wish to God I had a magic wand to go doink people with it. It doesn't work that way. And I'll tell you why. A person has to participate in their own healing with my guidance. They get instructions. Um, it works when they follow the instructions because those instructions are very high 5D guidance very high guidance. 
The other thing to be aware of is that Rome wasn't built in a day. All these things didn't trowel onto you in a day. And it does take a gradual thing of at least three to four sessions to get to the point of feeling better and feeling the difference. Many people have forgotten what it really feels like other than that first initial jolt and then they keep trying to recapture it and they're looking in the wrong directions. You know, they're looking at, you know, uh, honestly, like some of the tools that are not the light body, they're tools, they're tools, they're cards, they're, you know, rocks, they're crystals, okay? You need the elemental realm for sure. So I'm not totally knocking it. But there is a way to do this using your body and using your light body. Okay. Now, another thing that is going to be very helpful for the thyroid. The thyroid actually needs iodine. Iodine is an element. That's part of the elemental realm. That's part of your cosmic stardust that you're made of. But what is a good form that's easily digestible and readily usable for people? Kelp. You can get kelp capsules. You can get um, seaweed. You can get kelp seaweed. You can get the kind that you sprinkle. You can get those sheets, nori sheets. You can get the uh, little snacks that you eat. Salt. Okay. Pay attention to your salts. Salts are important. Salts help with regulation. Salts help with your hydration. Salts help your blood and your blood pressure and blood production. So some of these things, uh, Sjogren's, Hashimoto's, hypothyroidism, and prediabetes and hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is actually a precursor to prediabetes. So even though you feel like you can eat sugar till the cows come home, how can that swing the other way? It's because you're not regulating it. You're not getting things balanced and you're not getting your alchemy points um, infused and merged with the energy. So these are some of the things that I do. I do them in sessions. We have uh, two specific sessions and I'm going to have a class coming up in which we will address chronic health issues. And I invite you to... Um, Bring me your questions because I'm a medical intuitive. I've been doing this for several years. I've wrote 40 webinars, seven books, and all of the basic foundation things that you need to be successful with your journey, with your ascension, and with your love life. Because let us not forget the love, okay? Even if you feel you've been discouraged, please don't. It re turns to you again and again, it finds you, okay? And that love wants you to get better and that love wants to heal you. And it's you, okay? So thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Please look at the links below. Please like and subscribe. That helps my channel quite a lot to keep this good information coming for you. Thank you. Bye.